We already talked about direct proportion and inverse proportion. This time, we're going to talk about partitive proportion. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, we're going to talk about partitive proportion sa video na ito, sample problems, how to solve it, and maybe just maybe just a quick technique or hack that you can use sa inyong susunod na aptitude exam. Now, uh, before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is by joining our review programs and, of course, uh, buying our review books. So if you're interested to check those out, you can go and visit our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Just send a message so we can uh, talk about your needs and ano yung pinakamagandang fit for you. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung ating lecture on partitive proportion. Meron na tayong video on inverse and direct proportion. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, ilalink ko na lang din dito sa taas, sa i button if you're watching on YouTube. Kasi ito ay iba pa dun sa discussion na yon. Okay? Now, a sample problem sa ganitong klaseng tanong would be something like this. Sabi dito, if the ratio of girls to boys in a class is 3 is to 2, and there are 30 students, how many girls are in the class? We also solve this type of problem dun sa uh, ratio rotation na series natin. Ililink ko rin sa description box lahat ng mga videos na sinasabi ko. Pero ngayon, we're going to use yung formula ng partitive proportion para dun sa mga students na mag -e exam na kailangan ipakita ang solution at sa inyo na magte take ng mga aptitude exams, colleges, uh, sa civil service exam, at iba pa. Okay? Now, intindihin muna natin yung hinahanap dun sa tanong. Okay, so balikan natin yung tanong. Sabi, ang ratio daw is 3 is to 2. Yun ang ratio ng girls to boys. Ang ibig sabihin nun, yung girls, sila yung 3. Yung boys, sila naman yung 2. Ngayon, kung ilalagay natin sa table na ito, ang ibig sabihin nun, sa bawat tatlong girls, sa tatlong babae sa klase, merong katumbas na dalawang dalaki. Which forms yung total na 5 students. Kaya lang, ang total is 30 students, hindi lamang 5. So, anong pwede natin gawin? Now, one approach to this type of question would be, uulit-ulitin lang natin. So, 3, 2, tapos yung 5, dadagdagit pa natin ng isang 5, so magiging 10 na to. Okay? Tapos, uulit-ulitin lang natin yan. 5, 5, 5. Okay? So, kung nyari, 10 na yan, this will then be 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay? So, 30 yung total. Tapos, uulit-ulitin lang natin kung ilang 3 yan. Okay? Ilang 2 ito. At dahil ang hinahanap natin ay yung girls, ang gagawin natin is 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 12, 18 girls in total. Kung hinahanap naman yung boys, that would be 2 times 6, which is going to give us 12. At again, kung titingnan ninyo, kapag in natin yung 18 tsaka 12, ang kalalabasan ay 30. Okay? So, ito yung just uh, mas visual na representation of what the partitive proportion problem looks like. Pero, kapag magsasolve na tayo using algebra, ang ginagamit natin na, na formula looks like this. So, again, it's the same problem, pero this time we're going to use algebra. Ang formula nito, magiging ganito. You have your girls and your boys. Ang ratio ng girls to boys is 3 is to 2. At para malaman natin kung ilan yung total nila, which is ang kalalabasan ay 30, ang gagawin lang natin ay maglalagay tayo ng x dito. Okay? So, x yung number of times na merong 3 at merong 2 para mabuo yung 30. So, 3x plus 2x is equal to 30. Now, kung isosolve na natin ito, this will be 5x is equal to 30. So, to divide both sides by 5, yun ang gagawin natin para ma-cancel natin ito. Okay, so ito yung rules natin when it comes to uh, finding x, no? So, meron tayong video noon. Ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas kung hindi nyo pa napapanood. Kung medyo naguluhan kayo, bakit maka-cancel yung 5? Ganun, panoorin nyo muna yung video na yun. Tutuloy na natin yung pagsosolve. You have x is equal to 30 divided by 5 or 6. Okay? So, 6 na yung pinaka-factor niya. 
Tapos, to find yung 3x, which is yung hinahanap naman natin, how many girls, ang gagawin na lang natin would be isa-substitute natin yung x na nahanap natin, which is 6, dito. So, 3x is equal to 3 times 6. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang number of girls na meron sa klase is 3 times 6, which is 18. So, if you notice, it's the same answer whether we use the table kanina or this. Mas mabilis lang itong formula, lalo na kung malalaki na yung mga numbers na involved. So, subukan natin ngayon with a different type of question. Okay? Paano kung ganito? Sabi dito sa problem na to, there are 72 balls in a bag. If the ratio of blue, red, and white balls is 4 is to 3 is to 2, how many of each color are there in the bag? Okay? So, this time, tatlo na yung kulay na hinahanap. Na anong gagawin natin? Basically, yung ginawa natin kanina, which is naglagay tayo ng x, tapos in natin sila, yun din yung gagawin natin. This will be 72 is equal to, and then you have your blue balls, na ang kanyang number na katumbas ay 4 dun sa ratio. Tapos, alagyan natin ng x. And then you have your red balls, okay, which is going to be plus, and then ang kanyang number ay 3, so 3x. Tapos, you have white balls, okay, lagi naman na natin na black na color. So, this is yung 2 naman na number. So, ang katumbas niya na ay 2x. Tapos, isosolve na natin siya. So, 72 is equal to 4x plus 3x plus 2x. This is going to be 9x. Okay, now, yung mga naguluhan, paano naging 9x yung ito? Ililink din natin yung lesson on combining like terms sa algebra. Okay, yun yung rule na sinusunod natin dito. Okay? Tapos ngayon, para makuha yung x, i-divide natin both sides by 9. Okay? So, makakancel na ito kasi 9 over 9 is just 1. Tapos, we will be left with x as 72 over 9, or 72 divided by 9, which is 8. Kasi ang 8 times 9 is 72. Okay? Now, dahil alam na natin yung x, malalaman na natin kung how many of each color are in the bag. All we have to do is to substitute yung 8 na x dun sa pwesto na yon. So, sa blue, ang ating formula ay 4x. So, kung hinahanap natin yung blue na balls, gagawin lang natin 4 times 8. Okay? 4 times 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. So, ang blue balls ay 32 pieces. Ang red balls naman natin, okay, ang kanyang number ay 3. So, 3x siya. 3 times 8, 8, 16, 24. So, merong 24 red balls. At yung ating white balls naman, ba? ang kanyang number naman ay 2x. So, ibig sabihin 2 times 8, which is going to give us 16. So, the answer here would be, you have 32 blue balls, 24 red balls, and 16 white balls. Okay, now, kung i-add natin to check, yung 32 plus 24 plus 16 ba ay 72? O, oh, tingnan natin. 24 plus 16 ay 40. Plus 32, that is 72. So, tama talaga tayo dito. Okay? Tama tayo sa sagot natin. Alright. Now, there's another type of question na mas mahirap dito pagdating sa ganitong klaseng tanong. You have problems na ganito. In this case, binigay na yung, kumbaga yung sagot kanina, which is yung part ng proportion, pero hinahanap na yung total. The problem reads like this. Mr. Cruz died and left money for his wife and daughter at a ratio of 4 is to 3. If his daughter received 660,000 pesos, how much did Mr. Cruz leave? So, ang binigay sa atin is kung magkano yung nakuha ng kanyang daughter, which is 660,000 pesos, binigay yung ratio. So, yung 3 na yan, ito yun. Pero hindi binigay yung total amount at yun ang hinahanap. So, ano naman yung atake natin kapag ganito yung tanong natin? You can expect this din, again, dun sa mga aptitude exams, college entrance tests, Sa civil service exam, sa NAPOLCOM, sa PhilSat, yung mga ganong klaseng test. Okay? Now, isolve na natin ito. So, ang ratio is 4 is to 3. Yung 4 ay mapupunta dun sa wife ni Mr. Cruz, so si Mrs. Cruz, at yung daughter niya naman makakakuha nung 3, na ang kinalabasan ay 660,000 pesos. Now, para madali natin maintindihan, kung bubuoyin natin yung formula, yung pera ni Mr. Cruz, ba? So, ito yung nahanap natin. So, yung total na money niya, Okay, ay equal dun sa pera ng wife, which is 4x, plus yung matatanggap ng anak, which is 3x. 
Pero ang maganda, bonus na kasi yung 3x which is yung share ng daughter ay binigay na. Ito ay 660,000 pesos. So kung hahanapin natin yung x, doon na natin siya kukunin. Okay? 3x is equal to 660,000. So kung i-divide natin both sides by 3 para maiwan yung x, pag kinancel natin ito kasi 3 over 3 is equal to 1, x is equal to 220,000. So, ibig sabihin yung pinaka-factor na natin, yung ating uh, uh, number ng x natin is 220,000 na agad. Now, using this, pwede na natin hanapin yung share ng wife, which is 4x. So, ang 4x is equal to 4 times 220,000. Kasi, again, ito yung x. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang share ng wife, which is 4x, is equal to 880,000 pesos. Now, all we have to do to find yung total is to get yung share nung wife. Tapos, i-add natin yung share nung kanyang daughter. So, all we have to do is to add yung mga nakuha na natin at yung given sa atin. So, ang wife, ang natanggap niya daw, 4x, is 880,000. Plus, yung sa daughter, which is going to be 660,000, na nandun dun sa ating problem. So, i-add lang natin yung 880,000 plus 660,000. Sa ganitong cases, kapag nagmamadali kayo, ang suggestion ko would be for you to do this. Instead of isusulat nyo pa lahat ng mga zero, ilagay nyo na lang dito yung 660 or 66. Dito na lang natin isusolve kasi puro zero lang naman yung dulo. So, 8 plus 6 is 14. Plus another 14 ito. So, magiging 15 siya. So, we have 1, 5, 4. Plus, ibababa na lang natin yung apat na 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ang answer natin is 1.54 or 1.54 million pesos. 1 million and 540,000. Ito yung total na pera na naiwan ni Mr. Cruz. Okay? So, yan yung ating sagot. Okay? Ayan. So again, if you know the idea na ng partitive proportion, masasagot nyo na yung iba-ibang klaseng tanong about this. Here's what we're going to do. Para medyo uh, kakaiba, kasi I know yung iba sa inyo medyo nagtitipid din ng data watching sa YouTube. I'm going to post a free quick quiz sa inyo. Uh, the link will be flashing on the screen right now. You can find it on the Team Laika website. And then you can answer that free quiz. Medyo parang sample na rin nung ating mga learning experiences kapag sumali kayo sa online review program. And yung answers na yan ay i-release natin soon. Okay? So, um, yan muna for now. And then for bonus questions, I will be posting more on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Maravilio on Instagram for the quick quizzes. Nasa Instagram story ko yan. And of course, yung mga throwback quick quizzes din natin, you can find sa at Team Laika na account on Instagram. So, at Team Laika uh, on Instagram for other updates then And of, if, of, of course, if you have TikTok naman, okay, I'm also on TikTok, at Team Laika for the educational content, math and language videos, and at Laika Maravilla naman for the more personal stuff. So, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, for motivational tips, uh, advice, at mga Ask Laika videos, you can find it sa at Laika Maravilla on TikTok. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. That way, yung salamit tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. You can also help support this channel by buying our merch. You can check it out sa shop.teamlaika.com so you can purchase yung hoodies, shirts, mugs, caps, and other things that I designed for this team. Sa mga bumili na, maraming salamat. Sa bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. Sa mga hindi kayang bumili ngayon, that's okay. I Again, uh, this is us pitching in and trying to help each other make sure that we can keep making all of these free videos for you. So, salamat sa inyong lahat, pati na rin sa ating mga channel members, channel supporters, and channel sponsors, sa rookies, MVPs, and sa ating mga uh, members na nandito ngayon watching. Dun sa, makikita nyo sila kasi meron silang badge. Uh, dun, beside their name, if they write a comment or if they participate sa live chat. Thank you sa inyong lahat. I'm really grateful kasi, you know, um, even in the natin, medyo lean months, your support helps us keep the lights on sa operation ito. So, maraming salamat sa inyo. And again, subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos to talk about. More topics na kailangan i-cover. So, I would hate for you to miss those. Kaya, turn your notifications on for all updates sa channel na ito para malaman ninyo kapag ready na siya. Thank you for watching. As we always say sa channel na to, <laughs> never stop learning.
Adja, adja. Hi, Nian. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now. All right, thank you for staying until the end of the video. If you want more video lessons, you can click right here for another lesson. And if you're interested to get to know me a little bit better, I have my second vlogging channel. You like a Maravilla right here. Tap on the face na lang and subscribe. See you soon.